Right, well, thank you, Dr. Wilt, for uh, talking with us today. Um, so just tell me a little bit about your position here with the university and uh, what it is that you've been working on via research this last few months. I work here in a uh, plant research lab. Our goal as a lab is to study the uh, relationship between nitrogen-fixing bacteria and soybeans. Uh, right now, we're trying to develop a uh, mutant nitrogen-fixing bacteria that we can pair with a a uh, particular mutant plant uh, and extend the life of the soybean. Oh, that sounds like a very noble goal. So what what is um, extending the life of the soybean sounds like something very important. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, so our goal right, well, right now, uh, soybeans have a shelf life of about six months. Uh, and if we succeed in our goal, uh, we'll have that shelf life extended to upwards of six years. So could have huge impacts and implications in transporting grain around the world. So do you think this would impact global food supply as well? Absolutely. Uh, much of the world's soy supply is produced in the upper Midwest. And as you can imagine, getting that soy out of the field, uh, down the Mississippi, and exported across the planet in six months or so is a logistical challenge. Uh, extending that shelf life allows you to store more and allows you to get it to the places you previously couldn't. Oh, okay. Okay. So it would help increase um, the amount available around the world, right? Decrease yep. waste hugely. Too. Yeah. So what, um, what are the next steps in your process that you've been working on or what, what needs to be accomplished in order for this to happen in the future? So we've already developed our bacteria. Now we've got to study it with the soybean and see how effective is it at uh, maintaining all of the activities and uh, natural growth patterns of soy and not sacrificing yields because uh, that would also be very Farmers want their yield, yeah. yeah. I mean, if we were to sacrifice our yields, that would just be counterintuitive. So okay. uh, our goal is now to study it in relation to the soybean and see how it works. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Willett. I appreciate it and uh, have a terrific day. Thank you.